The floor is yours. Okay. Well, we want to start off by thanking you guys for being here and giving us the opportunity to work on this project. Uh, we are COS Solutions. I'm Chelsea Kirby, Michael Peterson, and Matthew Robinson. And we wanted to start off by asking you guys um, how you think that UCM students perceive you as a company. I think they perceive us as a um, very industrial company, not glamorous. Blue collar work environment. Um, I think a lot of people think we're like a Lowe's or a Home Depot or a hardware store or something like that with a reactive approach and obviously we're not a reactive company. Anything else you want to add? No, I think that was okay. better than mine. Okay, through the course of this project, we had a chance to meet with another class of upperclassmen um, and had a chance to talk to them and ask them what they thought Fastenal was. And most of them, in all honesty, had never heard the name Fastenal. The ones that did, they saw a strength of yours as innovation. The one thing that popped up when everybody that, that new fastenal name, the first thing everybody said was vending machines. That's the one thing that stuck out on every, in everybody's mind. The other, the other thing was that they remembered from your presentation that you were a fast growing company and that you recruit UCM students. That honestly was all that was said. The only other thing that popped up from a student was he knew you drove Dodge trucks. <laughs> Within that, we looked at we looked at this and we saw a weakness and some weaknesses with this with students' perceptions. The they don't feel like they're being approached early enough. Most of and most of it comes from the fact that it is a relatively new relationship, but they they feel like they're, they're you're coming in. You know, they're, they're juniors, they're seniors, and they just don't get the, a good feel for who you are. Um, another really big, a big problem that was stated was the timing of your presentations. One student in particular said you came in during her IBE block, and it was about halfway through the class, and with it being a four-hour class, Point blank, she said, I tuned them out. I was so tired by that point in time that I just didn't care. She's like, I remember they had blue shirts and that was it. Um, and then another really big weakness is brand recognition on campus. Um, we we did had a chance to walk around Ward Edwards and uh, in the next slide coming up, you'll see what we know fast enough. Um, one of the opportunities that, that we got from them is class selection. You, they came in, you came into IBE, um, you come into operations management and then the POM with Christine Wright. I think that if you could get more classes spread out over different times, it's going to be more beneficial to students because they're going to hear your message better. Presentations was another one that they found as an opportunity for improvement. They don't, they didn't respond well to just coming into a PowerPoint. They specifically said, if we had something to do, whether it be a interactive exercise or a problem solving uh, exercise, something more than just a lecture. Because a lecture within a lecture to them, especially when they're, they're four hours into the class, they just, they're, they're just tuning it out and the quality of information that's being provided, is ju it's just not there for them. Um, one student actually said that he, would want to, he wanted to see flyers, information about fast and all, in high traffic areas, when he walks into the building, there's a, there's a section where there's actually flyers 
of, with different information, and he said specifically, I read everything in front of me. And he said, if I could find something on Fast and All where I could walk up, pick up a flyer, and be able to read what they do, what they're about, what opportunities are there, he was, that he, was, he would be excited about having that physical piece of paper to read. And then another, uh, the other one is the internship office. Again, you'll see on the next slide that the, 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 the fast and all presence is very, very minimal. Um, as we spoke in our, first, in, in our first meeting, no one knew about the fast and all internships. When we spoke to Matt Houseworth's class, none of them knew that there was even a fast and all internship available. With you got with, with you guys, you guys said, you know, had 20 internships available, and I think you said at the time you had two filled. You want UCM students, UCM students want internships. The fact that there's that huge of a disconnect is a huge opportunity for improvement, and having more presence there is going to be a, a, a big key driver in that awareness. The biggest threat, I think, for you guys with this is being unknown. When, out of a class of 15 people, eight to 10 had no idea what Fast and All was. So there's there, that, the, the threat of them not knowing, whether it be because they don't have a class that they're exposed to you, or there's the literature not there, or they are have you know they're they're beyond the classes that you've already that you've already talked to. That that is a huge huge threat for you guys because you're not getting the recruits that you're looking for. Um, I think sometimes there might be a little bit of a misperception on a student's part. They th what we gathered from them is that. You were there not so much to teach and help assist our learning process as you were coming in strictly to recruit employees. And that, I think that is a huge thing where teaching and integrating what you can do and what, what technology and the the, the processes that you use can be better conveyed as you know, an educational tool rather than a, hey, we're fast and all, we do this, and we're looking to hire. Um, the, other, the other thing uh, with some of the IBE students was a bit of an oversaturation. Seeing the same message three or four times throughout different classes and I know that is something that we had discussed prior, and we actually do have some ideas for that we will present later on as far as what we can do to do that in the future. What we have gained from talking to you about Fast and All is that the growth, 30, 30 to 40% growth in the industry per year is incredible. Anybody that wants a great job, this is this is this is what is is there. I mean, no company that we have found that we researched has anywhere close to the growth. Market penetration, the your ability to bring student to bring hires in that are going to give you that are going to give you the ability to open new markets. New, new clients, that's, that's a huge deal. You give the, the ability and the training through your teaching with the Fast Enough School of Business is it, it, an advantage that most employers do not, do not give. Um, the market development with, your, with the, the vending machines such a huge innovation, and like I said, when we talk to our other students, that is what people, that is what everybody remembered. So that, that development and the, the ability to get the products 
to the to the to the customer in, in such a rapid manner with the innovations is, is as we found as a huge huge benefit. Your automation ability with having the the auto refills when you have the vending machines that when it gets low it sends a signal to your local store and it gets there. Uh, with that, also with your going out and doing the physical inventories and keeping track so that the, the companies or your clients do not have to worry about themselves. Training, the Fast and All School of Business. Very, very few companies that we researched in looking at other competitors, or not, I would just say competitors, but other companies that work with UCM. We didn't find anyone that actually gives you the chance to earn a further education on par with the Fast and School of Business where you can actually learn, get, earn an associate's degree in, in the field you're working in. And then social media. Obviously, everybody now is online the, the, with Facebook, Twitter, um, the NASCAR. I mean, that's, that's a huge huge avenue for gaining people's names. Actually, I would, would imagine NASCAR is probably the biggest thing. Carl Edwards is a Missouri boy. Everybody knows who that is. Now, we're going to bring up a couple pictures here. This is our internship board. As you can see, this is the only fast and all presence in Ward Edwards. An eight by ten flyer in plastic in, in, in a plastic stand on the corner of the table in front of the big board. We need to improve that. All right. We as uh, CLS Solutions conducted a Vrio analysis to help us further understand the importance of the relationship with FASFO and UCM. Uh, we found that the value of this relationship is very high. Uh, the importance of hiring quality employees for FASFO is key to their business model. So uh, because FASFO only promotes from within, um, it's very important that they need quality um, employees, hardworking employees, and UCM provides that. Also, this partnership is a good way to uh, gauge the quality of education from the Harmon College of Business. Uh, we could use this relationship to, for FASTNOL to give feedback to the Harmon College of Business of what we need to improve and, and how to improve our students. Um, the rarity is, it's not very rare, not a very rare relationship. Um, if this partnership does not continue to improve at the pace that it is, or say that UCM doesn't keep putting out quality um, students, then there's a lot of other schools that FASTNOL could recruit. And then uh, the, uh, it's not very, the imitability of this relationship is pretty high, um, kind of like the same aspect as Rarity. Uh, UCM has a lot of different companies that recruit their students, so um, it's not very imitable, or it's very imitable. And then um, the organization of this relationship is very, very high. Um, Fastenal has a great sense of commitment to UCM because of the money and the time it is spent recruiting their students. Um, and we feel like that the return of quality employees that UCM has given them is an incentive enough to keep this relationship going and improve, keep it on improving. We also did a steep analysis. From the social aspect, you get, you get Fastenal wants to employ hard-working, blue-collar individuals. You look at business majors, most of which when we graduate are from ages 22 to 25. So you're looking at young people with the desire to grow, to build a career, and Fastenal gives huge opportunities. There's very rarely do you see a company where it, your ability to be promoted is based strictly on your performance. Most places, it's seniority. How long have you been there? Are you the next in line for that promotion? With Fastenal being a performance-driven promotion, 
a, a, a 22 year old that's hungry, who has bills to pay, and wants to to improve, this is a great a great uh, opportunity for them. Plus, with the advent of internships, giving them the chance to experience fast and all, find out if they are going to be a good fit, if you feel they're going to be a good fit, and if they are, not only do they have you get the credit hours, you get the pay, but you have a you have a set employee when graduation occurs. Uh, from a technological standpoint, you get the social media. I just want to, sorry, if you were to open up your folders, uh, the PowerPoint slides in your folders a little bit more in depth than the ones that they're putting up there. This is an FYI. Sorry, I'm I sorry. didn't want to That's okay. interrupt. That's okay. <clears throat> so, my apologies. Go ahead, Matt. Um, from a technological standpoint, um, you have your social media through Facebook, Twitter, as far as getting your name out. Uh, High-speed communication. Obviously, when you're working with vending machines where you're able to restock within a, a less than 24 hour period and you're able to take an order that comes in at five o'clock at night and have it out and at the door before 10 o'clock the next morning, you're working with some very, you're working with very high technology and a very efficient system. Um, another really cool thing that I, we found in our, in our research was the Fastenal app for the Android phone system, which I think is a huge thing that needs to be out there. I got on there and got looking on there and I, I, was, I was blown away from the fact that I could go on my phone order what I wanted, what I needed, right then and there, and I know that if I ordered this product, I would have it the next morning. I wouldn't have to worry about, is it in stock, because it tells me that. And I think that's a huge, huge thing that should be promoted with, with, by Fastenal to students, because if student, with, with students being more technology-based than ever before, Having knowledge about that app, if for no other reason, to be able to research it. Because every, every, every kind of, all the information that's on your website is right there on that phone. I carry my phone with me all the time. Everybody carries their phone with you all the time. So having that, that aspect of technology is a huge boon that had I not researched, I wouldn't have known about. And I think that's, that's something that could be promoted more even on a flyer around campus. Um, from an economic standpoint, your growth rate. I think you said it was something like 12 or 12% as far as your, your economic growth on from a year from a year to year basis. It's huge numbers. Way, from what, I, what, what we've looked at, it was way above industry average. Um, and from our, our perspective, Fastenal really cares about the employees, which as a prospective employee is a huge thing. People want to feel like they're coming into an environment where they're cared about and their success matters. Um, ecologically, you have the green team, which is definitely a huge thing now with everybody wants to go green. And the initiatives that I've read about on there are a really good forward thinking process. And then from a political side, there is the, the relationship between the college and the company. Um, not, not, there's not a whole lot of legal, but the politics of dealing with a, a college and, the head, and, and Dean Best, there, there are there's certain aspects of that that is, is relationship building more than anything else. Throughout the project, there was a lot of items that we came across that UCM already does for Fastenal and things that UCM can do for Fastenal. Um, one of those things is, of course, provide qualified students for you guys to employ. Um, and the enrollment rate at UCM is continuing to grow, and last year was at one of the all-time highs. So that gives you a bigger pool of applicants for Fastenal, as well as UCM provides experience-based classes, so it's not just lecture after lecture, there's a lot of hands-on learning which is good for students once they get into the real world, as well as um, providing students with high work ethic, 
um, most of the students that come out are ready to work. They're not ready to, you know, slack off or anything like that. They're ready to get a job and get out there. Another thing um, that we would like to see more of is brand recognition brand recognition in Ward Edwards. Um, we have the ability to promote a lot in Ward Edwards, it's just not being done right now. So we would like to con continue to see improvement with that, as well as um, the class presentations. Since you guys can come in and do so many different class presentations, it opens up a lot of different opportunities for us. And since it is such a new, a new relationship with us, um, since it's only been about two years, there's just a lot of room for growth. Okay. On the flip side to that, there's a lot of things that Fastenal can do for UCM. Um, like we've been talking about a lot is the internships. Um, internship system at Fastenal is a good way for UCM students to take advantage of it. And with the relationship that we have with Fastenal, um, UCM students more than likely get priority over just regular students in the internship system. Um, not only do the interns get real world experience, they also get paid and they get class credit for it which is a great opportunity that we think can further be utilized. Um, uh, Fastenal provides employment for grads uh, or graduates. With Fastenal only recruiting six schools in this area, um, they're able to hire roughly 32 uh, graduates from the Harmon College of Business each year. And uh, Fastenal provides great opportunities to advance your career within the uh, promotion. And, um, the funding for or the Harmon College of Business that Fastenal provides is a great tool that we need to, to continue to work on. Um, they, they provide a lot of money for the Harmon College of Business and we think that's a great idea or a great a way for them to expand their resources and maintain their status as one of the best business schools in the, in the Midwest. And then also Fastenal allows employees to further their education. So once a UCM grad gets hired on Fastenal, they're able to continue to work with the Fastenal School of Business, which they require, or they provide four courses, uh, intro to sales, intermediate sales, key account selling, and uh, market-based planning. And those four classes will get you an associate's degree from the University of Minnesota. So that's a, a great tool for UCM graduates to, or yeah, UCM grads to use. Okay, uh, moving forward with the business relationship, there are several items that we would like to continue doing and things that we would like to improve on just to make the relationship even stronger. Um, first of all, uh, the interactive class presentations. Uh, when we say that, it's just what we mean is just something as small as group discussion or maybe role playing or even showing like a YouTube clip or maybe even a video that you guys might show at work so students can get kind of an insight into your company as well as providing relevance to the material because the more relevant the material is to the students the more lasting impression it'll have on them and the more they'll remember the presentation. Um, one thing that really stuck with us as a goal for you guys that you mentioned to us in our first meeting was getting to students earlier on and I listed on page four or slide four in, in your manual um, it's a list of all the pre-admissions courses that are required for all business students to take before they are admitted into the BSBA program. Um, this doesn't matter if it's management students, econ students, all business students must take these courses to gain admittance into the BSBA. So we feel like these classes would be a great opportunity to get to them in their freshman or sophomore years and kind of get the Fastenal brand in their mind early. And to kind of, kind of go off what we had talked about before with the internship office, the Center of Business Internship Office, um, we were kind of thinking that maybe with the classes that Michael had just mentioned, that we could get with those teachers and have them possibly attach something to the back of their syllabus saying, there is an internship office downstairs, there's a lot of opportunities for you, so that way they can get in there and hear your name, and so that's kind of planted in the back of their mind throughout the rest of school. And then moving forward towards long-term arrangements, uh, we thought it was a good idea to expand on monthly presentations and kind of alternate the approach every once in a while. Um, one idea we had was to kind of to hold a seminar maybe every other month that is optional for students, so that way you'll get the students that are actually interested in pursuing a career with Fastenal, and that'll give you more one-on-one -on -one time with them, so they can ask more in-depth questions and learn more about Fastenal. And um, and also, um, expanding the target students, we had mentioned all the classes that um, are prereqs, 
uh, by getting to them early, it's kind of getting to students that don't really know what they want their career path to be. So by getting your name in there, that might help them decide, oh, this is something I really want to do. Or, you know, for a lot of people that are starting out in school, they're just, I'm here to get a degree. I'm not quite sure where I want to go with it. So getting them early on kind of puts that in their mind already. So then they will continue learning about your company throughout school. Expanding on, expanding on that, a lot, of, uh, a lot of what we've heard from, from our interviews with, with the students is you focus on the IBE block classes. And something we spoke about in the initial meeting, there are alternative classes to all the IBE classes. The, the organization of management that's a part of the IBE is actually an independent class where non-business management majors are in that class. So econ majors, finance majors, accounting majors are in these classes. These are opportunities for you to come in, still touch on relevant subjects, but to touch a whole nother student base that you're not getting by just touching the IBE. Now, getting into this, in, in, integrating into Ward Edwards, we actually thought about a lot of things and we came up with what we think is a very novel idea and a very cost effective and super good way to get fast and all in a prominent position and have your name right when we walk into the right when you walk into Ward Edwards and that it would be via your locker system you have your two different lockers the uh, the 18 the 18 uh, by 3 and then the 3 by the 3 by 3 lockers but our thought is is to get them put in the entranceway to Ward Edwards and have them as a day rental. Students can rent, non-traditional students, commuting students, students that have a large class load can utilize these lockers to, to, hold, their, to hold their books in and not have to carry a full book load around. And what that does, and what this is, this is the actual entrance foyer to Ward Edwards. This is a completely empty space. Now picture, right here, you've got a wall of lockers, bright blue, fasten all lockers. Everybody that walks in is going to see fasten all. They're going to be using fasten all lockers to be able to store their books in. And it's going to be, anytime anybody sees it, they're going to wonder who fasten all is. We've got space beside it. We can put fasten all posters. We can put fasten all information. It's easy to, to, to integrate. It also is instant advertising for your name. And as students come in and are, that are there for freshman, sophomore, junior year, and as they're, as they're learning about you, they've already seen your name every day. They come into the building for two or three years before they ever have a chance to, to talk to you. So by the time you come in to give a presentation and say POM or operations management, they already have in the back of their mind what fast, something about Fastenal. And I think this is not only is it be a, is it a long term goal, but this is actually a very attainable short term goal with, with, with the locker system. And the idea for the locker system is Right now, at, in Ward Edwards, you can go to the computer lab and rent keys to study rooms, and you, all you have to do is exchange collateral for it. So our idea would be to have a lock there, where you just exchange collateral for a lock, and then lock whatever you want up for the day, and then whenever you need it back, just exchange it back. Much like renting the study rooms there, when you have to rent a study room, you give them your ID and you sign a paper. So it could, our idea was to do something maybe like that by giving them their ID or maybe just signing a consent form saying it'll be a help. Hold on your transcript until you return it or something like that. But in the computer lab on the second floor is where we currently do that. So that's kind of our idea behind that. Okay. Well, thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions for us?